I'm Loren Barwick, four-star senior Pirelli instructor, also a four-time world paraquestrian athlete and three-time Paralympic equestrian athlete. I was introduced to Pirelli in, oh, wow, 1997 and I was jumping my horse and the woman at the barn introduced me to Pirelli and I had a young horse and I started her with the Pirelli methods, Pirelli horsemanship. <laughs> I wasn't really committed to the Pirelli program there. It was just something that was fun to do. And then I broke my back. It was in 2000. I was training to do stunts for the movie industry uh, with horses. And I was feeding the horses early one morning. The hay, instead of being stacked to be able to climb, it had been, all the, the stairs had been removed and it was more like the game Jenga where uh, bales of hay had been pulled out. I climbed to the top to loosen the top bale and the whole stack became unsteady and I jumped down 10 feet and the 100 pound bale of hay fell and landed on my back. From that moment on, I had zero feeling from my hips down uh, so, and completely paralyzed uh, from my belly button down. When I came home from the hospital for the first time, it was uh, almost three weeks post-injury. I got to do a home visit and I remember going to the field and I had six horses there and only one from the field came to visit me. And it was Peanut, um, Hungarian Cayenne, my little warm blood mare that I had started with the Pirelli method. Um, and she came and she nickered at me and I remember it clear she put her head over the fence and started nuzzling my legs, which made me, of course, cry. And it was like, she was like, where, where were you? And it was because we had developed this partnership together and I'd been away and I'd never been away for that long. And from my wheelchair, three weeks post-injury, oh, wow. I haltered her and I wheeled her out and I played almost all seven games with her right there in my driveway and I even put her in the trailer. And five weeks later, I came home again to visit and she let me tow her up the street like a chariot off the back of her tail. Once I started riding again, I was introduced to paraquestrian dressage. And at first I thought it was just a bunch of paralyzed people riding horses and only to discover that it was people with disabilities, physical disabilities, and para represented parallel to the Olympics. I trained for three years and competed in the 2004 Athens Games and I did quite well. I placed fifth, sixth and seventh and was very close to being in the top three um, but I was more of a passenger. I was, didn't know really what I didn't know at that time. I was still learning a lot. And in 2005 I came down to the barn and discovered that I had no passion to do this or desire <laughs> to continue doing this anymore this way and I wanted to get back to what I had started to develop with my horses before I broke my back. Pat invited me to have a two-week audition with him in Colorado to see if he felt he could help me with my journey and my dreams and help me succeed in my goals, which at that point was Beijing 2008. And I had shared with him that I actually didn't have a desire to go to Beijing if I had to do it the way I was doing it towards Athens. And there was nothing wrong with what I did for the first five years. It was just that I wanted more. I wanted more of a connection. I wanted more of a partnership. And when I got on that podium, it wanted to be because I was training my horse and that I was a part of that journey and we earned it when we stood on that podium. So I came to Pirelli for a two week audition and I lived in a cabin. I climbed up hills. My assistant blew up my scooter and I had to drive a golf cart around. Pat let me ride magic, special magic, and Pat also took me on the mountain to go and uh, follow cattle, which was huge for me because I hadn't ridden outside of an arena in five years. That evening, after about seven days and having ridden out in the pasture with Pat, I remember sitting in the shower and again, I was crying. And it wasn't out of fear, it was out of the possibilities and the doors that had just been opened up to me and what if, what can I do?
After that two week audition, Pat invited me to Florida to negotiate spending more time with them. And I did, I, uh, we came to the conclusion that I would move to Florida and uh, train and potentially ride Pat's Horse River, hopefully for Beijing. Once I got to Florida and started playing with River and playing with all of Pat's horses, who is very generous to let me do, um, we discovered that River wasn't going to be the right horse. And Pat and Linda helped me find another horse. And her name was Mei Li. And she was very unconfident. And Pat would get on her and ride her with the cows and it was my job to put a solid foundation on her to help her be successful in what she was good at, which was dressage. And, and so Pat helped me put this fabulous foundation on so that the icing was delicious. So when asked what success looks like to me, it's not just winning a gold and silver medal in Beijing, or most recently winning a bronze and silver medal at the World Games in Normandy. It's being able to take numerous horses, and being able to develop a partnership with numerous horses from a wheelchair being paralyzed and take them to the top international level. A lot of people say, oh, well, you were lucky, you had one good horse. But in actual fact, I've taken two horses and actually three horses because two of my horses went to World Games this year. And for me, that is a successful equestrian career and I couldn't have done it without Pirelli. I'm Loren Barwick and Pirelli Success is me being able to develop my own horses, having a partnership with them and them being in the arena with me, not because of me, and us earning that podium.